What's up guys, it's your boy Farwild and we're just going to take a little bit of a break of Punk to Pro and I'd just like to talk about the new update, specifically Riftfall that has came out for Halo 5 and how you can improve on it because I know it's new to the game and I don't, I don't think that many of you may not have ever played it before and I would just like to shed some light on how you can play it and the new abilities in Halo 5 and how they can help. So, generally the aim of Griffball is to get the bomb to your opponent's goal uh, to score a point. First to five points wins, easy enough, everyone has hammers and swords. Now the we weapon you want out at most times in the game is the gravity hammer. It is way better than the sword and would you believe it actually has a uh, longer distance, you, the lunge is not as far as you can get a kill with the gravity hammer and also remember if they lunge you they're still open to be hit by the gravity hammer even while they're lunging. Also it does radial damage so at the start of the match when the bomb spawns right in the middle it's really good to just whack your hammer down in that general area and hopefully people on the enemy team will be on the receiving end of an absolute beating. Also from what I've noticed on the one game I have played Thruster and jump height, power, whatever you want to call it, have been slightly increased, which means that to get hammer kills, you might want to jump up or even thrust the pack, jump and thrust the pack either backwards if they're behind you, so try, maybe even try and get a ninja, or forwards so you can get a, a great hammer on their head. If you actually are above them, it makes it significantly easier to get kills on players than if you are on the ground level with them. Um, when you're attacking the carrier, the, bo the bomb carrier will show up orange on the screen and have a little kill mark above him. Um, it's vital that this is the, one of the only instances that you use the sword in this game type and there's a big, big reason for that. So if you use the gravity hammer on the bomb carrier and you don't quite get them like right under the hammer, it launches them up. It makes them a bit weak, but it launches them upwards. And when they're up, they have... Multiple, multiple things they can do. Firstly, the bomb carrier, I believe, has two thrusters. So they can thrust once, thrust twice, either forwards to the side, get out of danger. Or they can ground pound. And as everyone else is on the ground, and the actual base that you score in is on the ground, they could just get an easy cap. So to avoid this, use the sword, which does not make them go up into the air, and also is an instant kill if you hit them. And chances are, if you're lunging at them, you will definitely get the kill. When you're... So, one to tips. Now, that's more like the basic stuff. You probably should already know if you've played Griffball before. This is more to do with Halo 5 Griffball now and the positioning that you want to address. When you're not the ball carrier, you need to defend that man with your life. It is your responsibility. You need to defend. This is when your teammate has the ball, by the way. You need to defend your bomb carrier. And there is several ways you can do this. Firstly, slay the enemy team. Now, it seems obvious, but not enough people do it in this respect. Many players, as soon as they see the guy, the orange, they run straight for him. The, the enemy team just sprints straight at him, and it's tunnel vision. And they tunnel vision towards the bomb carrier, and they don't take in their surroundings at all. This is your opportunity to just, just get it cheeky flanking. I mean, Charles Star, they're running, they're probably running like horizontal to you, trying to get the bomb carrier that's maybe on your left or your right. And all you need to do is slam the hammer down. And as if they're wise, they would have the swords out to try and hit the bomb carrier. If you've got a gravity hammer, you're going to beat them every single time. So that's what you. So that's how you take out the enemies in a very, very proficient manner. Um, the clips on screen, by the way, we're trying to be hi highlighting what the what I'm actually saying, so you can see it in action. This is from one game, so all these clips from one game. Also, another way you can help the bomb carrier is create openings. Take out enemies in areas that allow the bomb carrier to run forward. And that means if you take if there are two enemies in front of the bomb carrier, just charge straight at them. Take them out. They might not even be looking on you. Like I just said about the, the tunnel vision, they might be looking at the bomb carrier. You can just swoop straight in and get both of them and clear a path for the bomb carrier that has enhanced movement speed to go forward. Now the best thing you can do, however, in Halo 5, if you have a teammate, is create runs. Now it, think of it as a football soccer match or even American football wherever you're from football yeah if you run you're gonna want the ball past you either thrown or, or kicked and if you um in this game type you can actually throw the bomb oh, it's so amazing you can do it in Halo 4 but you can do it in this as well you can throw the bomb and if you're with a player other than yourself in like a party so in this game I was with Nate straight 
we were constantly making runs off the ball to try and give ourselves options. And if you're one of the runners, a good thing to do is go around the outside of the map, like either on the top shelf or on the ground, just go go wide and just try and, and just call for the ball, like down the right. Just, oh, I'm open, I'm open, throw it, throw it. And like most of the time, if the, if the player knows how to play, they will throw it to you because it's a great way of one, getting away and, and two, it's more likely to score. The ball travels f faster and further when you throw it than you do if you walk with it. Now, ball carriers. As I said, you're the fault. Uh, you're the fault faster than every other player, and try and weave back and forth. Was that? What was that sound? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, try and weave back and forth um, uh, to try and get the uh, the glassos, if you will. Like if you go left to right, left to right, the people in front of you, the enemies are going to be going the same way as you. And as I said about tunnel vision, they're going to be looking straight at you. They're not going to be thinking about your teammates that could come in and kill them. Now. What you can do is what I do in this game quite a bit actually is stay back towards your own goal, back up into your own goal, and let the teammates flank round and try and lob it clear. That's what I do, and me and Ace Ray got got quite a few caps or chances by doing this tactic. Just drop back and then look, and then as they come into you, throw it long, and then they're all out of position, and it's basically an easy score for your teammate if he's up there. And it's a really good way to clear your clear your lines basically. Also. Uh, if, as you see, you can actually ride, uh, ride? <laughs> what am I talking about? You can run on the side of the wall, which enables you to get a high advantage, as I said earlier, is key with the gravity hammer. Or if you have the ball, you can ground pound your target. And it's also good for approaching the goal at pace with the ground pound. If you walk along the side and ground pound into the goal, it's an instant cap. Anyway, guys, hope you have learned something today. Um, it should have been quite, quite a quick fire, even though it's lasted seven minutes. I don't know what's going on. That's all from me. Like, subscribe, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.